Well, good morning, YouTubers. You know, recently someone said you shouldn't say YouTubers because that would mean that they have videos. But I think if you watch YouTube, I think if you film YouTube, you're a YouTuber. Anyway, so here we go. I just wanted to show something because I think this might come up for those of you who are trying to breed your hornworms. Um, it is okay to buy hornworms and it is okay to buy eggs. You do whatever you need to do and don't worry about it. So if you get into a pickle and you need to breed your own, that's why we're here. Um, these little guys are incredible and they're loaded with protein. So they're just healthy for your reptile. And I happen to enjoy teaching. So here we go. I want to just show you something. If you are getting to the point where, let's say you purchased some hornworms and they're getting bigger and bigger and you need to put them in a larger unit, which is something like this. This is just a Sterilite, okay? And what I do is I crumple up paper towels, just crumple up. The key is to keep things clean, okay? Cleanliness is your best friend. So when they're starting to get big and they're, you need them to crawl out of the cup, just again, keep it clean. Just crumple up paper towels. These hornworms want to climb after they eat especially. Some of them will fall asleep right next to their food or in the food. So just scatter some food around and let them climb. You see these guys right here? They're just climbing. They just want to go somewhere and just stay clean and dry in between eating. That's all they do and they grow fast. So you don't have to get all crazy with things. Use what you have at home. Just line a Sterilite with some paper towels and crumple it up, make a bunch of balls. When they come out of this cup, they're gonna be looking for things to climb on. So it's really just that simple. Now what I do to avoid fruit flies, which happen naturally every time you have anything um, moist, um, I use these laundry bags which I purchased on Amazon. They're very, very large. And basically what I do is I zip, I zip them shut and I put them, sorry about the camera. Um, I put them, I put it, I use it as a lid basically. And then I have a large stretchy rubber band and that keeps the fruit flies that might develop because of the food. It's, it's very enticing. Um, that keeps them at bay. So again, you don't really want fruit flies. So if you're sprinkling some lettuce, some mixed greens in there, you're gonna get fruit flies. So um, when you go through the list, just Google the list of the things that you can feed your hornworms. If you don't have any hornworm food per se, just Google the list and get the list. But most of those things on that list are going to draw fruit, fruit flies. So do the best you can, but I find using these really large uh, laundry bags are perfect and you can wash them just again keep everything clean so that's it i just wanted to give a, a little hello to everyone and um, i'm probably going to be doing some question and answer um, some live um, streaming and um, start talking to everyone i've been um, going through a lot of uh, different dental surgeries so I didn't think you needed to <laughs> watch my my dental stuff, but I'm going to be making some um, videos and I'm going to be answering questions. So look forward to that. And thank you so much for subscribing. I want to give a shout out to everyone in Mexico because uh, from what I understand, you guys are doing well and you've been watching my videos and you are now uh, breeding your hornworms. So congrats on that. Um, everyone have a blessed day and we will talk to you soon. Remember, God is great. We're going to get through this. And that's all I guess I'm going to say. <laughs> okay, take care. Bye-bye.